Do you know why Japan experiences most number of earthquakes or why does Indonesia have most number of active volcanoes? This is because of their geographical location right along the Pacific Ring of Fire. What's that? Let me show you. What you are seeing right now is called the Pacific Ring of Fire. This fiery belt circles Pacific Ocean and is responsible for 90% of the world's earthquake and is home to over 450 volcanoes, both active and dormant. Stretching across 15 countries, it includes Japan, Indonesia, United States, Canada and Russia. This ring of fire is a result of tectonic plates. These plates sit on top of the mantle, a hot flowing layer of rock and are constantly on the move. Sometimes they collide, pull apart or slide against each other. The edges where these plates meet, also called as fault lines, are where the action happens. These movements can create deep ocean trenches, volcanic eruptions and powerful earthquakes. Some of the world's most dangerous volcanoes are found here. For example, Mount Merapi in Indonesia, standing at 9737 feet, Erupted has recently as 2021 and its previous eruption in the year 2010 claimed over 350 lives. And let's not forget Mount Fuji, Japan's tallest and the most iconic mountain. It's not just a postcard perfect peak, it's an active volcano, sitting at a triple junction where three tectonic plates meet. The Ring of Fire isn't just about volcano, it is also source of the most devastating earthquakes in the history. Take for example Valdivia earthquake in Chile in 1960, the strongest ever recorded at a staggering 9.5 on the Richard scale. Also the Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004 was caused by Northern Sumatran earthquake. This disaster impacted millions across Asia and Africa, all because of the tectonic activity in this region. So the next time you hear about volcanic eruption or earthquakes, think of the Pacific Ring of Fire.